good afternoon everyone in the last session we have studied about the different nitrogenous waste and non nitrogenous waste okay in this particular session we'll be learning uh, which are the different excretory organs which are present in different invertebrates okay this particular topic already we have studied in uh, kingdom animalia okay so in kingdom animalia we have studied what is the excretory organ what is the respiratory organ reproductive organ which is seen in different invertebrates so now let's start with the first phylum that is protozoa okay protozoa uh, are the first animals okay uh, which are quite simple simple organization rehta hai uska kaun sa protozoan se pata hai aapko amoeba permosium euglena all these are the protozoans okay and they live in aquatic conditions okay they have a special one vacuole that is contractile vacuole for osmoregulation purpose okay so they are amonotelic aquatic conditions mein rehte hain so definitely ample amount of water is there for removal of the nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia so they are amonotelic so amoeba permosium euglena these all have contractile vacuole for excretion purpose and they excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia now second phylum इनवर्टिब्रेट्स में सेकेंड फाइलम कौन सा है पॉरीफेरा पॉरीफेरा पोरस बॉडीड ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर एक्सक्लूसिवली मरीन यू ऑल नो वेरी वेल सो वॉट एवर नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट विच विल बी फॉर्म्ड इन द बॉडी ऑफ द पॉरीफेर विल बी रिलीज आउट डायरेक्टली थ्रू बॉडी सर्फेस सो जनरल बॉडी सर्फेस से अमोनिया जो फॉर्म हुआ है पॉरीफेर के बॉडी में वो रिलीज हो जाएगा got it because they are exclusively marine so large amount of water is available for removal of highly toxic nitrogenous waste that is ammonia so what will be the mode of uh, excretion which will be seen in poriferans kya rahega ammonia okay so mode of excretion ammonotelic those are ammonotelic organisms and phenomenon which is seen in the poriferans will be amonotelism okay example of poriferans cycon cycon spongilla you spongia all these are the examples of poriferans then third phylum is silenterata silenterata the other name for silenterata is nidaria okay hydra ka jo phylum hai usko kya bolte hai silenterata or nidaria okay and Hydra again aquatic environment में रहते हैं All cylindrates live in the aquatic conditions, so ample amount of water is there for removal of the ammonia. So they are ammonotelic. All cylindrates are ammonotelic. Mode of excretion is ammonotelic, and organisms will be known as ammonotelic organisms. Phenomenon ammonotelism. ठीक है सो जनरल बॉडी सरफेस से रिलीज करेंगे अमोनिया गॉट इट सो जनरल बॉडी सरफेस पॉरीफेरा जनरल बॉडी सरफेस सिलेंडराटा देन फोर्थ वन प्लैटी हेलमेंस प्लैटी हेलमेंस फ्लैट बॉडीड ऑर्गेनिजम्स डॉर्सी वेंट्रली फ्लैट बॉडी रहता है उनका गॉट इट एंड विच आर द प्लैटी हेलमेंस फ्लैट वॉर्म्स planaria tapeworm tinea solium okay all these are the flat worms then liver fluke so uh, free swimming jo rehta hai wo uh, platyel mein the planaria so planaria lives in aquatic conditions so what will be the mode of excretion ammonotelic ammonotelism is the phenomenon which will be seen by all platyel mins okay they have special cells that is flame cells on the protonephridia so protonephridia is the excretory organ which is having flame cells which will remove ammonia okay and that ammonia will be released in the water if it is planaria planaria free swimming platyhelminth hai and uh, uh, tapeworm liver fluke these are the endoparasites 
okay so inside the body of the host whatever excretory waste that is ammonia will be released in the host body okay got it then another one is nematoda nematoda other name for nematoda astelmenthes okay so astelmenthes phylum mein jo organisms rehte hain unme excretory organ hai h shaped excretory channels or else canals you can say or excretory organs so h shaped excretory organs canals channels are present as well as some of the nematodes may have rennet cells also okay so rennet cells and h shaped excretory organ is the excretory organ which is seen in nematoda okay they will excrete ammonia so ammonotelism is a phenomenon which is seen in nematodes they are ammonotelic organisms and nematode ka example bata sakte ho kaun sa hai ascaris okay ascaris cylindrical organisms male and female sexual dimorphism is seen got it so ascaris uh, is a example of nematoda then filarial worms filariasis cause karta hai so all these belongs to nematoda group so these will excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia and what is the excretory organ which is seen h shaped excretory organ and rennet cells okay coming to the next phylum that is annelida annelida what is the excretory organ nephridia and singular is nephridium many nephridia are scattered all over the body of the annelids and these play very important role in removal of nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia as well as sometimes in the form of urea okay for example earthworm earthworm agar uh, jada moistness hai soil ka if more amount of water is there in the soil then ammonia will be released as nitrogenous waste by earthworm okay and if there is less amount of uh, water in the soil then um, uh, earthworm will excrete urea instead of ammonia so that's why i have written ammonotelic or ureotelic so depending upon the availability of water they may be ammonotelic or they can be ureotelic okay example is perishima perishima earthworm and rest all you know other examples of annelids what are those leech neris neris is aquatic uh, annelid so definitely what mode of uh, excretion will be seen ammonotelism those are those are ammonotelic then largest phylum of invertebrate that is arthropoda arthropoda these are the the organisms which are uh, present in different uh, varieties okay got it so arthropoda class insecta firstly we'll talk about the class insecta maine kya bola aapko arthropoda is the largest phylum so the this arthropoda are having many classes so we'll discuss which are the different excretory organs which are seen in different groups okay class insecta now we'll talk about the class insecta so class insecta uh, all insects will have excretory organ such as malpighian tubules cockroach we have studied in 11th standard cockroach have which excretory organ malpighian tubules okay then uh, uricose gland is also there then nephrocytes okay so nephrocytes uricose glands and malpighian tubules these are the excretory organs which are seen in insects which belongs to class insecta of phylum arthropoda okay so what will be the mode of excretion uricotelism okay so uricotelism means they will excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid okay so example mosquito cockroach cockroach what is the scientific name of cockroach periplanata americana okay then mosquitoes house fly honey bees and many more 
okay then coming to the another class of uh, arthropoda that is crustacea class crustacea excretory organ green glands we have studied in kingdom animalia green glands rehte hain for excretion of the nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid so they are uricotelic and which are the crustaceans crabs shrimps lobsters okay prawns all these are the examples of class crustacea then third class of phylum arthropoda that is class arachnida arachnida okay so class arachnida kaun sa class hai spider or scorpion ka class hai wo so we have studied in the uh, sessions uh, previous sessions that guanotelic organisms guanotelism is the mode of excretion which is seen in spiders and scorpions so what will be the nitrogenous waste which will be excreted by these arachnids guanin so that's why they are guanotelic guanotelic so which are the excretory organs which are seen in arachnids coxal glands so coxal glands produces guanin so nitrogenous waste is produced in the form of guanin in the coxal glands of spiders and scorpions and likewise it is excreted out of the body then another phylum that is mollusca soft bodied organisms mollusca example kaun sa hai pila unio okay then uh, what else is there sepia so these all mollusk which are there these can be aquatic or these can be terrestrial okay agar aquatic rahenge to wo kya excrete karenge they will excrete ammonia because excess amount of water is there for excretion and if they are terrestrial they will excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid okay then some of the terrestrial uh, uh, mollusk such as uh, unio can excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of guanin also okay so ye jo excretory products hai guanin uric acid and ammonia these will be produced by kidneys or organ of bujanus or cubbers organ okay so any of this three can be present in different types of mollusk so which all kidney or organ of bujanus or some may have cubbers organ okay so these are the excretory organs which are seen in mollusk for excretion of guanin or uric acid or ammonia so guanin is excreted by unio okay which is a type of mollusk okay then uric acid is excreted by pila and ammonia is excreted by sepia because sepia is aquatic then ninth phylum that is echinodermata echinodermata echinoderms have excretory organ that is dermal brachiae or else tube feet okay and some of the echinoderms can uh, release the nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia also through body uh, general body surface got it so tube feet and dermal brachiae these are the excretory organs for excretion in echinoderms okay so echinoderms are ammonotelic ammonotelic starfish then sea cucumber these are the examples sea urchin these are the examples of echinoderms so echinoderms ka excretory organ kya hai dermal brachiae tube feet okay then hemichordata hemichordata is the phylum in which uh, the organisms will excrete ammonia as a nitrogenous waste okay through glomerulus or proboscis glands okay so proboscis glands or glomerulus is present for removal of nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia in hemichordates so which are the hemichordates balanoglossus and sacoglossus okay then coming to the another sub phylum okay that is urochordata urochordates urochordates such as herdmania 
Hardmania excretes nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid. Okay, so it is having which excretory organ? Neural glands and nephrocytes. Nephrocytes are the specialized cells for removal of uric acid. Nephrocytes are also seen in class insecta group. Okay, got it? Then coming to the uh, next group that is cephalochordata. Cephalochordates have excretory organ that is protonephridia similar to platyhelminth. Platyhelminth also have protonephridia. Okay, so protonephridia will remove nitrogenous waste out of the body through uh, by, uh, by which method? By ammonotelic method. Okay, so they will excrete nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia. So protonephridia are the excretory organs which are seen in cephalochordates and they will uh, remove nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia. Example is amphioxus, amphioxus and the last group that is vertebrata. Vertebrata is the group in which higher animals uh, are included, okay, starting from Pisces till Mammalia. Got it? So, they are having pair of kidneys and these pair of kidneys are responsible for removal of ammonia, urea or uric acid. Depending upon which class of organisms are there under subphylum vertebrata. Okay? So, here subphylum vertebrata me fishes aate hai, fishes live in water, so excess amount of water is there for removal of ammonia. So fishes are ammonotelic. Amphibians, again they can live in water as well as on land. So amphibians ka larva jo hai wo excrete karta hai ammonia because amphibian tadpole is found in water but adult amphibian is found over the land. So Definitely adult amphibian water or land may reta hai, so it can excrete, it uh, excretes urea, not ammonia. So it is ureotelic. Wherein reptiles and birds, that is uh, reptilia and aves, these are the two classes to which reptiles and birds belong. So reptiles and birds excrete uric acid as nitrogenous waste. We have already learned that and mammals very uh, uh, very advanced class of subphylum vertebrata. Mammals also have pair of kidneys for excretion of nitrogenous waste in the form of urea. Mammals are ureotelic. Reptiles and birds are uricotelic. Fishes ammonotelic and amphibian larva ammonotelic, adult amphibians ureotelic. Okay? So here we have completed different types of excretory organs and modes of excretion which is seen in different invertebrates followed by examples of each and every phylum of invertebrates. Okay? So please revise this properly. We have completed uh, different excretory organs seen in different invertebrates. Thank you.